Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So this week's video, I am back with a different version of my signature look and that is the crack eye and dead lip combination. One of my favorites. So in this version, I will be using mostly indie brands. So if you like how this looks and want to learn how to recreate it, then keep watching. So my latest favorite trick is to spray this rose toning mist onto my beauty blender to make it damp. I feel like this just adds a little more hydration to the face and for some reason it just helps the makeup stay a little bit better on the face as well. This little bad boy here, I think it's by Spongiology, uh, which is apparently a more ethical, less wasteful version of the Beauty Blender because it breaks down easier. I'm just kind of patting a little bit of that rose water spray all over onto the face and then of course I'm going to be using my Ride or Die foundation, the Illamasqua Skin Base, and I'm gonna be a slack lazy a-hole and just, just put it straight onto my beauty blender. A makeup artist that I know his biggest pet peeve is seeing makeup artists squeeze their foundation directly onto the beauty blender or makeup brush. Um, I purely just do it out of laziness because I don't wanna get my hand too dirty because how many times have you put foundation on the back of your hand and then end up, you know, putting it on your shirt somehow. For under the eyes, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer in Fair Neutral for underneath and a little bit on top. Spray the tip of that sponge with the Rose Toning Mist. So I've had this makeup look in my head for quite a while now. The number one ingredient for that is the Linda Holberg Anger Mood Pencil. I have a feeling I'm probably going to be using this pencil quite a lot in the upcoming months. So I'm just going to scribble that all over the lid of the eye. Probably just all along the lid up until the crease. This pencil is incredible for a red vegan pencil too. I'm gonna take the Kat Von D double-sided uh, shade and light eye brush and I'm just gonna blend the edge of that. You can see that I'm using kind of downward motions for this. The reason being is that I don't wanna blend it up too far yet. Just gonna pull it out on the corner of the eye just a little bit there. Take this color Roxanne from Sourcebox Cosmetics and this little Cosette 220 brush and I'm just gonna use that just to deepen the crease just a little bit. I'm also using this warmer color just to neutralize the red down a little bit because it's pulling a little bit pinky now that we've blended it out. Then I'm gonna take this It's Likely Makeup and Furless Pro 7E brush and I'm just gonna use that just to swoosh through the crease of the eye just with nothing on it. I love this brush just to do that last little bit of blending on the eye. Throw it right there in the socket and just blend back and forth. You could kind of do this part with your eyes closed. Now I'm going to be taking Sugar Pill Kiss Kiss. Man, I waited so freaking long to buy this shadow. Every single time that I'd show up to the Sugar Pill booth at IMATS, it would always be the one that was sold out before I could get my hands on it. So I'm just gonna take that same Kat Von D brush and just press that over the lid of the eye. It's actually the first time that I've used it, surprisingly, uh, but this looks a lot like Swoon from Kat Von D. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that Kiss Kiss color on the Cosette brush that we're using. And I'm just gonna work that up the crease just a little bit. I don't usually put anything too shimmery through the crease of the eye and this is definitely more of a metallic shadow um, because usually something matte through the crease of the eye gives you a little more definition and contour and that's why we kind of define that crease area. But I don't know. I just felt like doing it, so I'm doing it. I'm going to go back to that big poofy blending brush and just sweep that through there. So I'm going to take the pencil and then run it underneath the eye, underneath the lash line. Just really scribble it in there. 
gonna wait till the last minute to add it into the waterline. And then I'm gonna take this Makeup Store Medium Blender Brush 705. Before, when I was in makeup school, uh, there wasn't, back in the old days, there wasn't that many makeup stores around or, or like actual makeup shops that sold makeup. I used to go and visit the makeup store in Sydney in Australia and I literally used to have dreams about this place. Sometimes I'd have nightmares that I realized that I had gone shopping in Sydney and forgotten to go to the makeup store. While I was a young makeup lover in makeup school and just starting off with my artistry, that was definitely one of my favorite shops to visit. Now we have the luxury of just being able to buy everything online. I'm actually gonna bring the shape down a little bit just right here so we've got the the corner of the eye and then it, underneath here I'm just gonna create just a little bit of an odd shape this is really similar to the look that I wore to the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner party which I uh, said that I would do a video for like a year ago but never did so this is turning into that video Ta-da! so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that Roxanne color again the 220 brush and just kind of blend and buff a little bit along those edges that we've done right here you certainly don't have to do that kind of weird shape at the bottom but it's fun just for something a little different you kind of wipe off that brush just a little bit and just use it to make sure that the edges of that blowout that we've done are nice and blown out you can also use your finger just a little bit. The finger will work really well if you have more of an emollient foundation on because it will kind of just mix the color into the creaminess of the foundation. So I'm going to take that Kiss Kiss color again and just stamp it along the bottom here. It just gives the color a little more impact and a little bit of shine too. And then I'll just take a little bit of Kiss Kiss right on the tip of that Cosette brush. Make sure it's really kind of blended out and just use that just for some final touches. Any bits that don't seem as blended as the others. So I'm gonna do the waterline of the eye. Really get that in there. I don't know whether I'm gonna do black mascara or not. I think I might actually just keep it this really red look and just get a liquid lipstick. This is the Galactic Iconic Lipstick. And then just use that to paint my lashes with. Now when you're using our liquid lipstick as a mascara it's not really going to like build or give you body or anything just like a mascara would so you can buy a colored mascara if you want um, off the top of my head I don't know of any vegan red mascaras and when I was doing the lower lash line I already really coated those bottom lashes so I'm not gonna worry about putting any red liquid lipstick on the bottom I'm just gonna wait for that little flicky to dry before I flick it off. Go over with a second coat of the liquid lipstick. A little more volume as much as you can with the non-mascara. Um, if you were the kind of person that really, really loved lash and volume, what you can do is either put some false lashes on and paint them with the liquid lipstick or just grab any pair of eyelashes and then just do a few coats of a liquid lipstick on them letting them each coat dry in between I'm also going to tight line just this little inner corner of my eye here for brows I'm going to be taking this wing me brow jam and call me ebony this is actually a Detroit owned business I'm super super proud of it's a really odd texture uh, you have to kind of play around with it to know what it's like but it's a powder but you can see when you push on it it's soft so it's almost like a putty powder as well and I've been loving this color for my brows recently the owner of this company is a super 
awesome human. She's all about animal rights and human rights and feminine rights as well. So I'm just going to use little flicking motions upwards just to add a little more density to my eyebrows. It's actually been a year since I've had my eyebrows microbladed. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should do a one year later microblading experience video. For cheeks, I'm going to be taking this Gotham color from Nabla and I'm going to be using my It's Likely Makeup Pro 5F brush to apply that. Just a little bit of contour. I'm going to be taking this Nabla highlighter. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with these highlighting sticks. It actually reminds me a lot of the Nude Sticks Illuminati. Apply a little bit from the stick first and then buff a little bit on with my brush too. For lips, I am going to be taking Necromancy Cosmetica Naked Witch and my beloved R.I.P. OCC Sebastian lip pencil. I honestly haven't found a dupe for this pencil yet so if anyone else has let me know please. So I'm putting it on, pressing it in a little bit and then I'll just go and re-outline the lips too. Okay you guys there we go. Yay, it's my first fallish look for the Halloween season that's upcoming. I cannot wait until fall autumn weather is finally here to stick around. I hope that you guys have enjoyed another signature color combination look for me. I really like this one. Just this just this simple god damn my wig is like so I really like how this is just more so one color all over the eyes even though we did use a few more than just one color but it's just a bold red statement eye and then that grayish deadish looking lip which I love crack eye and a dead lip you cannot go wrong you guys recreate this look make sure you tag me on Instagram so that I can see it also Comment below if anyone has any questions about transitioning to vegan. The next video that I have planned is going to be my one year transition to vegan. So if you guys have any questions about that, especially makeup wise, uh, just make sure you comment those questions below and I will be answering them in next week's video. Thank you so much as always for watching my friends. I will see you soon.